Good morning, Mission Control. Well, I worked myself into being sick again, so I've had a rough couple of days here. I've also had a rough couple of days with the circuit board I've been working on. And, uh, you know, I got quite a few things working on the circuit board. However, I wasn't able to get all of the stuff to work, and I eventually discovered a bug that I cannot find the solution to. Um, so, uh, I'll show you what I've been working on here. <clears throat> This is the Mark One or Mark One board, and it's the one I can't solve the problem for some reason. There's more voltage going across the uh, five volt rail than what there should be. Um, by two volts, there's seven volts going there, and I, I can't figure that out. Uh, so here is the Mark Two board. You'll notice it has less connectors on it, and that's because instead of the the cables have been such a pain that I've decided to get rid of the cables and go with a direct mount solution. There's pins right here. See those pins? And there's pins over here. You can hardly see them though. Uh, so that you can mount it <clears throat> directly on to the Arduino. So this board, this is the Arduino right here, will sit on the pins and you'll have a nice board stack. And that was a subscriber. There we go. It'll look like that. Uh, that was a sub uh, excuse me a subscriber recommendation, so uh, it'll be pushed down further than that. By the way, that's I just got it resting on there, but it was a great recommendation. It gets rid of the uh, wire harness that connects the two boards, make for a lot better solution. So I'm working on Mark II today, and I'm hoping that I'll get it all up and running. I did some voltage testing last night, and it does not have the same problem as Mark I so far. So uh, next step is to get uh, all the sensor wires connected. Those are the green ones that are on here. Uh, I just got to connect them on here. So I'm going to get started. Okay, I just got done rewiring uh, the sensors. So let me show you that. <clears throat> get the light there. There we go. So here's all the sensors wired up to the MUX. Here's what it used to look like. I think Mark II is a lot cleaner. Definitely a double layer board though. And now I actually just ran the voltage test. Everything is showing 5 volts like it's supposed to. It's not having the same behavior as Mark I. So now the next step is to start plugging some of the analog sensors in and see how they perform. Here I got some show and tell. Uh, here we go. This is the Mark II board. And it is installed on the Arduino, and I have many, actually, I have confirmed the uh, operation of the sensors uh, that I've attached to it so far. And what I'm discovering is, uh, one, I had some problems with the Mark I board. Uh, I just didn't connect the circuits correctly. Uh, that's now resolved with the Mark II board. It works very nicely. Uh, everything checks out correctly as far as resistance and voltage goes. Very happy with the Mark II board. Got rid of the cables. The old cables uh, that used to connect, I had lots of cables everywhere running around connecting to everything. And I really didn't like that setup. Now with it, uh, it's new setup, it connects directly to the board. Uh, so that got rid of two sets of cables. And um, yeah, what I'm finding is it's actually the crimper tool that I have. And the RJ45 connectors that I have uh, are now the root cause of the remaining bugs uh, that I know of so far, of course. Um, I have troubleshooted the uh, JSP connectors, and they all seem to be working correctly now. I had to learn how to use that crimper tool. I was on the wrong die setting on that, so I got that dialed in. And now the RJ45 connector... Uh, it's not crimping all the wires correctly. And yesterday, I actually, <clears throat> I am totally geeking out here. I got my uh, local binoculars, magnifying glasses out here, and I looked at the uh, die on the uh, the crimp tool and figured out that some of the there's little teeth that punch up into the connector, and uh, so you kind of have this action going on where these teeth they punch up into here. And what was happening is these teeth were offset, so they weren't connecting correctly. <coughs> Excuse me. So a lot of you pointed out that that might be a problem, and sure enough, uh, that is where we're at. The crimper 
and the connectors just are having a problem. Now, it worked for a while, and then it stopped working, and I'm thinking maybe I over-crimped it. You know, I pressed too hard on it, maybe bent some things, and maybe you're not supposed to do that, a little bit uh, finer touch. But uh, here we are, and now I'm trying to deal with it. Overall, at the, the ranch here, uh, things are starting to thaw out. Uh, let me show you. It's a beautiful day outside. There we go. All the snow is pretty much gone. And now we're just, uh, I'm starting to kind of take stock of all the problems that have happened over the winter. Uh, lots of fence has been broken by the snow. I'll have to get some photos of that, some video of that and show you. Uh, D2, our, our youngest cow, he likes to get out of the fence. He's learned that he can jump over the top of it if there's a bunch of snow in place. So uh, kind of a mess there. But uh, overall, things are pretty good here right now. We just really need to get these sensors done. I'm falling way behind schedule. I've learned so much, though. Uh, and I just want to say thank you to all the subscribers out there, everyone who's made comments. I can't comment to every single comment that's out there, plus go to my full-time job, plus do all this. But I read them, and um, I just want to take this moment to say thank you to everyone who's given me great comments and great feedback. You're actually teaching me a lot as I go and I hope other people watch these videos and learn from what I'm doing and your comments. I, I have to believe they will. So thanks, everyone, uh, for, for watching. Thanks for commenting, and thanks for helping me make this the best uh, possible solution I can. Thanks.